Well, um, I served on the board from 1984 till 1987, and uh, I was a board chair in 1987. Um, at that time, um, I was looking for something to get involved in that met my particular passion and my interests. Um, I'm an immigrant, and my family um, are all immigrants, and um, I wanted to uh, get involved in an organization that supported the needs of immigrants in their transition to this country, and CISC was the organization at that time that was known for really supporting the needs of the elderly immigrants in our community and um, those who uh, were of limited English speaking ability. So that really resonated with me and, and I decided uh, to get involved. I think what is special about CISC for me is the warm welcome I received from staff and the board. Um, the, it, again, it was unusual for me to have been executive director at CISC, even for the little blip of time that I was there. And everyone was very gracious and kind. And I have here just some mementos, a gift that I was given by the board of CISC at the end of my time there, and a gift from the elders at Sunshine Garden. So I keep both of those in my home, proudly displayed. Well, my story with CISC started in 1979 when we first came to the U.S. as a refugee from Cambodia. Uh, CISC provided us with a place for uh, looking for job opportunities and also this is a place is actually figure out how to connect to the local community because when we first came we hardly speak any, any uh, English and we as a Chinese Cambodian we were very happy to find a place that uh, we can speak our own uh, Chinese at that time and then uh, got connected with the local people and things and then I believe my dad find his uh, first janitorial work. At the time when I was volunteering, our primary clients were elder ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we call in Cantonese gong gong and po po. They come in and show us the letters they gotten from the bank or social security administration or from the uh, utility department and they needed help in figuring out what they're supposed to do, you know, how much is their benefit, and so forth. So it, it was just so heartwarming to see them uh, understanding what uh, they were uh, offered or what they needed to do. So, and, and they, they all leave our, um, our little table or desks there uh, with a big smile on their face. It was just very nice. CISC has been part of my life for a long, long time. I remember the agency from the 1970s when it first started. Um, and I remember they were at different locations in the Chinatown International District. Uh, they had a bunch of services over on 7th Avenue, an old uh, hotel up a uh, flight of steps. Um, they did a lot of interpretation for the Chinese community back when the community was much smaller and more isolated. Um, they were a vital agency uh, for so many decades for the early Chinese uh, settlers in this area. And so without them, I think a lot of uh, the residents in Chinatown and in Seattle uh, would not have been able to uh, access services, so they were very critical. Um, if I could also mention, my mother used the services uh, 
along with a lot of her friends. They all worked in the sewing factories uh, in Pioneer Square and South Seattle. Uh, back in those days, uh, the Chinese community was very relatively small and very poor. Uh, so all the women worked in the sewing factories, the men worked in the restaurants and laundries, and they didn't have access to translation services. And so CISC did that work of translation, interpretation, uh, letting them know about other services. They had a nutrition program as well uh, in the 1970s. They provided low-cost meals to people who couldn't afford uh, food. And uh, they were uh, such an important and vital uh, infrastructure uh, in ensuring that our seniors and immigrants were cared for. And I still remember helping clients at the big long folding table at the back of the Wing Luke Asian Museum. Um, my, my services of helping clients by filling out forms, uh, doing some translation work, explaining things to the clients ended in 1975. I came to the U.S. as a teenager. I didn't speak English. I can still remember how frustrating and how difficult um, those early years for, uh, for me were. And there was no one to help me. Uh, when I heard about a chance to help Chinese immigrants, no one needed to twist my arm. And so I volunteer. King Lee, my late husband, he came to Seattle in 1971. He helped clients uh, fill out forms for government services, uh, did translation work, and accompany clients to doctor's office visits. In addition to helping clients at the office, King, along with uh, Fei Lian Dao, uh, started the very first library in uh, CIC. CISC certainly had made a great big difference in the lives of tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of uh, lives of people from different parts of the world. And uh, I hope that CISC will continue to flourish, to prosper perpetually, and be a pillar of hope 